This is a sad day for Charles City County. Inside Cole's Courthouse Grill. Don't know him at all? Yeah, we knew him. Everybody knew Floyd. There are fond memories of Sergeant Floyd Miles Jr. Big smile, big laugh. Colin Jenkins, the owner, says the business he and his mom started 15 years ago is a success today, thanks in part to Floyd Miles. And Charles City County is a, is a place where they just welcome everyone. Um, and Floyd was one that really started it. You know, he was a deputy. Um, he would come in, support us, anything we needed. The restaurant sits within sight of the Charles City County Sheriff's Office. And early on, when it opened its doors, there were a lot of bumps along the way initially, and Floyd was there to, to help us. And help is what the deputy promoted to sergeant was known for in the community. There'd be a time where somebody would get their keys stuck in the car. We call Floyd. He'd be here in a second to, to, to pop it out. You know what I mean? He was that kind of guy. Hearing the news of Floyd's death on Sunday, Colin Jenkins' thoughts turned to the Miles family, particularly the deputy's father, former state delegate and county supervisor Floyd Miles Sr. Him and his dad's relationship was something that, that, that shone brightly, um, and that was just a blessing to be able to see along the way. It will now take time to heal the wounds of loss for a department and an entire community. It's overwhelming and it still is right now. It's hard to process, and um, it's just a huge loss. And Charles City's, um, it's just a sad day in Charles City County. The family, Cullen says, will feel the love of the community to help them deal with their loss. And uh, we'll come together, so Charles City does. We're gonna take care of each other and be there for their family 100%. Floyd Miles Jr. spent time in the U.S. Army before returning home to serve his community. He survived by his mother and father, his wife, and a whole host of family members. In Charles City County, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.